Today we present you with WWE Valets who outshine the wrestlers. Number 7. Trish Stratus When Trish Stratus joined the WWF in early 2000, the Canadian fitness model was paired with Test and Albert. Ironically named TNA before Impact Wrestling even existed, the name was a not-so-PG reference to a woman's body, as the focus was clearly on Stratus. Though Test and Albert had both been in the company for a while, neither had done much as single stars, so adding some spice to their tag team in the form of Stratus made perfect sense. The only problem was that Stratus's natural heel charisma and raw sex appeal made her the focus of the group, while Test and Albert themselves became an afterthought. To be fair to Stratus, it wasn't her fault that fans were more interested in her than her clients, as TNA had very little chemistry together and the group became just another lumbering big man team. Simply put, TNA was doomed from the start and probably would have split even faster if Stratus hadn't been there. After splitting, Stratus would go on to become arguably the biggest female star in wrestling history, winning seven women's championships before retiring this year. As for Test and Albert, though both men would receive sporadic pushes over the years, neither was elevated past the mid-card for the remainder of their careers. Number 6. Sunny The original diva, it's hard to think of any valet who outshined their clients more than Sunny and the Body Donnas. The team of Skip and Zip, the Body Donnas were a pair of heel fitness fanatics who would use aerobics to taunt opponents, and despite their incredibly lame gimmick, were very successful thanks in part to their manager, Sonny. With Sonny by their side, the team captured the WWF Tag Team Championships at WrestleMania 12, though despite this big win, it was clear who was the real star of the team. Sonny's natural bubbly personality and clear knowledge for what worked shined through on screen, and the fact that she was incredibly stunning didn't hurt either. At the height of her popularity, AOL claimed that Sunny was the most downloaded celeb online in 1996. As her spotlight grew though, less fans showed interest in Skip and Zip, who would quickly be seen as Sunny's sidekicks instead of the other way around. As the company's original diva, Sunny would become one of the company's most popular acts and was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 2011. By comparison, the Body Donnas have been all but forgotten by the majority of wrestling fans, and though Skip, Sonny's real-life boyfriend at the time, would have success in ECW as Chris Candido, in the WWE it was Sonny who stole the show. Number 5. Lita Though she may be best remembered as part of Team Extreme with the Hardy Boys, Lita got her first big break in the World Wrestling Federation as the valet of S.A. Rios. With her red hair and tattoos, Lita was unlike any other woman on the roster at the time, as she promoted an alternative lifestyle that many Attitude Era fans were following themselves. Not just that, Lita was also an incredible athlete and borrowed many moves from Rios' moveset, including her and Conrana's and Moonsaults, moves that had never been seen by women in the WWF. Before long, it was clear that Lita was significantly more popular than the man she accompanied to the ring, and the decision was made to split the pairing up. This split came on May 25, 2000, when the former light heavyweight champion turned on Lita, powerbombing the future Hall of Famer after he lost a match. Being rescued by Matt and Jeff Hardy, Lita would become a member of Team Extreme, while Rios' star would never reach any higher in the company before his release from the company the following year. With Matt and Jeff, Lita would become one of the most beloved female wrestlers of all time, holding the women's title on four occasions and was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 2014. Number 4. Kelly Kelly When ECW was relaunched in 2006 as part of WWE, the third brand needed new stars, and though Mike Knox could have been that star, he was quickly eclipsed by Kelly Kelly. Working together on the Extreme Show, Knox would play the jealous boyfriend character who forced the exhibitionist Kelly to keep her clothes on, much to the anger of the fans. While this did get the 6'6 six six monster some heat in the short term and did allow him a brief feud with CM Punk, it soon became clear that the fans didn't care at all what Knox did as long as it meant they got to see the blonde valet. Clearly, the lesson here is that if you have a character who is basically a stripper, Knox needed to have a strong character or personality of his own in order to avoid being overshadowed. Sadly for Knox, he didn't have either trait, and though after splitting with Kelly in December that same year, would do little in the company before his release in 2010. 
As the final nail in his WWE coffin though, Kelly would later capture the Divas title in 2011 and recently became the first ever female 24-7 champion earlier this year. As she's now in the record books as a title holder in WWE, something Knox failed to accomplish. Number 3. Debra Though Jeff Jarrett would become a four-time WCW World Champion and a six-time NWA Heavyweight Champion in TNA, he never had quite the same success in the World Wrestling Federation. In the company, Jarrett was relegated to the mid-card in tag team position, and though he would become a six-time Intercontinental Champion before his controversial departure in 1999, was often outshined by his manager Debra. As part of her managerial role, Debra would often take off clothes to distract Jarrett's opponents, much to the delight of Attitude Era fans. As Debra's strip teases continued, fans would become far more interested in her than what Double J was doing in the ring, much to the chagrin of the self-proclaimed Chosen One. Turning heel, Jarrett would become a misogynist, repeatedly demeaning Debra and all women, as part of his feud over the Intercontinental Championship with the ninth wonder of the world, China. On the September 27, 1999 edition of Raw, Debra and China would team up, with the valet getting a victory over Jarrett and referee Tom Pritchard in a symbolic victory that showed who the real star of the pairing was. Leaving the company a month later, Jarrett wouldn't be seen again in WWE for nearly 20 years, and though he's now a Hall of Famer, he played second fiddle for years to his valet, Debra. Number 2. Melina when Eminem debuted on SmackDown in 2005, the trio of Mercury, Nitro, and Valet Molina made an immediate impact. Winning the WWE Tag Team titles on their first night, Joey Mercury and Johnny Nitro made a fine team, though it was often Molina who got the attention. As a trio of wannabe Hollywood celebs, Eminem would often be followed by paparazzi, though whenever Molina entered the ring, all eyes were on her. Entering with an impressive leg split, Molina's sex appeal would ultimately be the most memorable part of the act, and though Mercury and Nitro did receive some attention thanks to being associated with her, it paled in comparison to the diva herself. In a rare instance, things worked out for all three after the group split, as Mercury would transition to a backstage role and would later re-emerge as part of J&J &J security. Molina would later become a wrestler in her own right, becoming a five-time champion and the first woman to have multiple reigns as women's and divas champion. As for Nitro, he would have success as John Morrison both in and out of WWE, proving that being overshadowed often isn't necessarily the end of the world or even your wrestling career. Number 1. Sable when the WWF signed WCW's Mark Merrow in 1996, they were disappointed to discover that they couldn't use his Johnny B. Bad character, but found a silver lining in the form of Sable. The real-life then-wife of Merrow, the company quickly signed both of them to a contract, and the future women's champion would make her debut at WrestleMania 12, accompanying Triple H. Being yelled at by the game after his loss to the Ultimate Warrior, Sable would be saved by the debuting Wildman Mark Merrow, and the pair would become a team on screen, though it was instantly clear that she was the bigger star. To be fair to Sable, it wasn't like she was trying to steal the spotlight, as she certainly didn't wow fans with her acting or mic skills. Sable's biggest asset was her looks, as she was a very beautiful woman in WWE at a time when there weren't many at all and would become one of the biggest stars of the Attitude Era. Sable's movie star Good Looks would ultimately see the jealous Marrow mistreat and turn heel on her, and the pair engaged in a feud that would see Sable almost always come out the winner. Unlike many male superstars on this list though, Marrow was a solid hand in the ring, and unlike Sable, had oodles of charisma. It would have been interesting to see how his WWE career would have gone had he not been held down in storylines that focused on his wife. Also check out our other high rated videos by clicking at the upper right hand corner or down in the description field. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss a single new video. You can follow us on Facebook and Twitter and as always, thank you for watching.